All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to totally the first time I've ever played uh, this game. Let's switch it to, uh, no, I think I deleted the game. I don't know, let's see how it goes. So welcome to the first time I've totally played Outpost Zero. I haven't spent the last 15 minutes balancing audio. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be listening to Endless Space 2 soundtrack because this game is hard to deal with and there's not a whole lot of music to begin with. And honestly, I really like the Endless Space soundtrack. Turn it down a little bit so we can just hear things. Anywho, um, so this is a 3D sandbox game, multiplayer, so on and so forth. Kind of uh, super similar to... Oh, shoot, what was what was the game? Grav. Similar to Grav, similar to... God damn it, I said new start. All right, well, this is dumb. Well, whatever, it's fine. I haven't done anything apart from put down a command module anyway. Uh, so we're just going to call this the new start and call this the everything, and there's the Anoimo bot. You can't mute him. I turned it off. Sliders do nothing in this game. If you want to listen to the tutorial bot, good luck. <laughs> All right, power your furnace. What? I oh, build and finish constructing a furnace. All right, let's let's actually work on this. Map beacon, bed, round table. Nope. Steam furnace. Okay, let's put this way. Can I? Oh right, you have to can't. You have to finish. You have to like say no more building. So you can actually work on these things. Anyway, furnace. Okay, so yeah, there's tutorial bot in the corner. He's lovely. His writing is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, he's whisper quiet no matter what I do. So just closing that so we don't just listen to him. Anyway, power it by putting carbon in. I got a bunch. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Build and finish constructing a charging station. Use mouse wheel to rotate its placement. Okay, so this would be our... Uh, this would be how we get our energy back, because there's there's a little energy meter there. That kind of determines how long I can go. Is that oh no, that's that's fixer bot. Working on the thing. The drone misty is kind of pointless, it barely does anything. Okay. Seriously, his writing's pretty decent, but Okay, so anyway, use this to recharge my energy. Oh, this is going to take a while. Hopefully you can increase the amount of energy you get out of the uh, charging station. I'm going to shut him up. Uh, skip the tutorial. Pirates will begin attacking immediately. No. I don't want to skip the tutorial. I just want to skip his dialogue because I can't hear it. Seriously, regening energy is really slow. Why? I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be like when Bird kept doing Vermintide first episodes. Yes, it will be. I think, uh, if I remember, every half hour I'm going to do a in new intro, and that'll be episode one. Oh, I should turn that off. I had the uh, resource viewer on. Enemies incoming. I'm not... He said something about making a robot factory, but I'm still trying to get my energy back. Oh, the batteries in the charger are empty. Yeah. So they are. I'm sure it comes back faster if I, uh... I'm sure it comes back faster if I, uh... If I actually wait. I was just kind of hoping to grab some things. Whatever. Anyway, so let's just grab carbon. Clearly I'm gonna need a bunch of it. Uh, let's see, rocks. There were some minerals over here that I might as well mine while I'm at it. Craft! Oh, Craft's already dead. Okay, my little, like, uh, attack bot is on the prowl right now. And honestly, I'm just gonna let him do whatever. I think it's also supposed to loot every corpse, so... I mean, eventually I'm just going to get a crap ton of carbon out of the thing. And I'm fine with that. Oh, two of these are layered on top of each other. But yeah, I have no idea if this is going to have, like, building systems in it. I don't know if it's going to have vehicles. Uh, I do know you can make, like, a robot army in this game, and you're supposed to have, like, a pretty... Uh, like, extensive, extensive PvP mode. Uh, to this, you know, fighting other players, fighting for resources, so on and so forth. I kind of chose not to. Uh, there are some public servers that you can already get onto. But, honestly, in my opinion, uh, multiplayer is always kind of miserable. I will absolutely... Okay, I gotta make... I gotta make something else. That's not worth it. Bob. These big... Th oh, I guess they're like bow bobs. Um... Let's see. Uh, 
But these games generally rarely are fun for me uh, when playing with other people. If it's like my friends or if it's like friendly people, I absolutely will. But I have to like directly be working together with them. Otherwise, it's just kind of like you're just going to like show up and destroy my base at some point and then I'm going to be mad at you. Why are you hitting your own eye? I don't know. For some reason, this character has extremely short arms. And I don't know why. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit here. Yeah, I gotta get a pickaxe. Okay, so we want to build a robotics factory. Uh, power pylon. What's a power pylon do? Distributes power. Oh, I see. So that probably distributes power across the base. And the rest of these are things that I probably want to mess with later. Storage container, miner, extractor, storage tank, machine shop, robotics factory. Uh, you know what? Let's exit this for a second. We wanna... let's go back to the building menu. Let's just make some more foundations. Because honestly, I'm just gonna live on a giant platform for a while. We'll have to get some more iron and silicon. Oops. I said... there we go. There's the build tool. But yeah, it, lo it looks like they put the camera in the, like, center chest or whatever. But it's kind of a weird rough edge. Like, you really think somebody would have loaded, loaded this game up and been like, that axe animation is really bizarre. But, oh. Oh. <clears throat> I'm killing my own drone. Because apparently shooting underneath it still hits its hitbox. Weird. Okay. <clears throat> So we need a robotics factory, and we need a machine shop. What about tools? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now that I'm not losing my voice, inventory, do you have some stuff for me? So he's just been, he's just, I, okay, I can grab those. It's kind of misbehaving for a second. I think that's, yeah, that special effect of charging actually kills my frame rate a little bit. Okay, so, uh, we were going to build... A robotics factory, but I'm not actually sure if I need one of these, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Anyway, let's just build it. I don't know what a robotics factory uh, necessarily is going to do. Oh, so I can make robotic minions. Okay, uh, so I can make robotics, and I can make autonomous drones. So, I could potentially make, like, ten autonomous drones, and really just kind of send them out. No, I can make one more. So I guess we get to listen to another one of, the, one of these things complain, but benefit is, these guys more or less will, uh, these guys will go out and grab, uh, resources for us, so at the very least our, our base can, um, Okay, anywho, uh, let's see, so we want to switch you around to, let's just set him to harvest, and let's make it so he's not getting carbon, and no water. That way he'll possibly go out and get some more useful resources, because yeah, I can't harvest uh, silica, and I can't harvest uh, sulfur particularly well. Okay, good, so he's just going to grab those. We should probably get some storage down as well. Attack. Okay. So we want to do we want to do a materials processor, but let's see what else I can grab. Charging furnace, storage container. Okay, so let's let's just get one of these over here, at least for now. Because yeah, my goal to some degree, for some degree, to some degree, I don't know. My goal is to kind of just automate it, automate myself out of a job. So let's let's get rid of. Oh, you have to wait for it for a little bit. That's weird. Yeah, so we have some copper, we've got sulfur, we've got potassium. I don't actually know if these robots will ever actually deposit things for me if I have to pull them out. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, let's see. So we've got a storage thing. Harvester. Miner. Extractor. I mostly just want to get myself tools, but I gotta go find some iron first. So I guess let's, uh, I'm gonna bet iron's up here along the hillside, maybe. And yeah, my job is to make my job obsolete. I seriously want to play one of these, like, sandbox games with a, um, uh, 
Let's see what's this. Silica. Well, we need silica, and it's much, much easier to mine. So that's good, at least. Um, let's see. But yeah, I'd really like to play one of these games someday with uh, with more Factorio elements. And I know that's what... Uh, that's what... Oh, shoot, what am I thinking? Satisfactory is supposed to be. You know, kind of a... Your place be right for the picket. Plunder everything, lads. I know Satisfactory is supposed to be kind of like one of these games with, uh... I should probably get back to my base. I don't actually know if they're going to, uh... Um... Oh, there it is. Uh... I don't know how threatening these guys are going to be. Or are they gonna crash? No, no. They're just gonna sit down and I'm gonna come fight them. Okay, let's go mess them up. But, uh, you know, just kind of a survival sandbox uh, experience, but with more automation. Than, uh, than just survival sandbox, if that makes sense. This guy's brought crab friends. Pirate Captain Sapper. I don't have any guns yet, so pretty much the best I can do. I think the crabs actually moved in to murder the crap out of him. So I guess that kind of works out. Let's just quickly loot all. Drone Misty was destroyed by a crab hatchling. Oh, no. I guess I'm going to have to build some better drones, because my current drones apparently suck. Well, it's fine. I can, I can operate on my own, at least for a while. At least for a little while. And luckily, it looks like we just had some drones die on us, so I might be able to actually use that for resources. We'll see. Just kind of keep kiting these away. If only my drones knew enough to uh, to just circle strafe around enemies. Seriously, these enemies are not tough. What is that? I have no idea. I think I'm getting the sulfur. Is my inventory can't be full? Can it? I don't even know. No, it's not. I, I've still got a ways to go before I run out of inventory space. Perfect. Let's see, why is this planet covered only in those weird crabs? I think it's because I'm in the beginner area. We might get we might get more as we go along. Who knows? Okay, uh, what was this over here? Alright, soldier, and... Nothing immediately useful in here. There's like piles of stuff. Oh, right, you can sprint. Piles of stuff, but it's it's nothing is nothing of it is useful. I'm looking for uh, these these glowing rocks. Ah, it's just more. Well, there goes both of my drones. What's even the point of having these if they're just going to get utterly wrecked by crablings? And I'm not even sure where they are. Okay, well let's let's get out of here. Let's uh. Let's go back to my my boring platform and let's see if I can actually uh, repair my drones. Because if I could repair my drones, that would that would make my life easier. That one, no. I bet these ex exclamation marks are my down drones, or they're they're dead parts. Good. Well, I don't see the dead parts of one of my drones around here. So it could have just fallen through the world. But maybe not. I don't know. It's very hard to tell. There's there's a lot of exclamation marks. Something depleted all of the copper and whatnot in this area. Oh. Watch this be one of those situations where the one that got all the goodies uh, is dead somewhere that I won't be able to find it. I don't know. Or maybe it's this one all the way over this direction. Yeah, it looks like there's, uh... It looks like we've got a notification maybe over here? Nope, that's the crab hatchling. Did I, did I run over it? No. One thing about this field of view feels really slight to me. There it is. Okay, yeah, we've got a bunch of silver, but I don't really know if I have much of use for this. So we got... I don't even know what my drones got before they died. They got a bullet, but I think that was me. Yeah, it looks like they didn't really grab anything, so we'll have to wait until we get uh, tougher, tougher drones. Which I think you can upgrade to get better drones. 
but I'm just gonna have to grab random resources until that's worth it. Because I'd love to have a drone army, but if we're just going to have, like, uh, crabs as far as the eye can see, just killing my shit, then I'll just wait. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time. Okay. Uh, crabs as far as the eye can see. And yeah, it looks like they can just dig up into your base. I'm not sure if I should hit these things with my axe or what. Now, this game's supposed to have, like, a, a pretty robust RPG system to it. I wonder if I ever get to level up or if it's if it's resource-based. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, uh, can I find out right now? Physical stats, combat. No, it doesn't look like I've got anything immediately useful here. Can I check options, key bindings? Auto run, building menu, crouch, fire. Fire 2, bunch of hotkeys, inventory, reload, open maps, split levels, split items. No, so I don't actually know how the RPG system works. Maybe we have to upgrade ourselves on a on a bench somewhere. Uh, let's see. So we still haven't found any iron yet. Wanna transfer? Yeah, it feels like this is one of those games that is... It has potential to actually be not half bad. But without the... Um... Oh, I can just right click to move these things over. Okay, without a little bit more time in the oven, it's, I think, going to just be uh, mildly fit fiddly more than anything else. Okay, so mobs will not spawn inside a structure with walls and roofs and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Let's get my energy back, which is coming back faster. Though it was coming back even faster than this earlier. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, whatever. It At least it's not the, that criminally slow speed that we were running into earlier. Because that was, that was a problem. So we, we gotta find some iron if I want to do anything interesting. I think we're okay as far as my other resources go. But yeah, base impressions are... It's clunky, but it's got a good base. It's just... I think like all survival sandbox games, they always tend to rush out of the gate just a little bit too early. Um, like, I'm trying to think of good examples. When Grav came out, it wasn't it wasn't like the most popular game ever, but a lot of uh, you know a lot of people started playing it, and their their poor servers couldn't handle it. The the effectively. Uh, uh, effectively, what happened was, like, day one was, was really fun, day two was laggy and unplayable. So supposedly, this is a resource viewer, but I don't think it's actually... I don't think it actually does that, or maybe it only works for, uh... Existing materials. If it's depleted, it won't work. Acid rain in area X0, uh, Y1. Okay, sure. Well, what's this? Nope. It looks like the uh, the resource viewer is completely useless. I'm gonna just turn that off for now. The music's pretty cool. Music has nothing to do with the game, unfortunately. Um, this is this is me just listening to the. Um, this is me just listening to the uh, endless space soundtrack, which is really good, but has nothing to do with this game. That is purely just a. I couldn't hear the music for this game, so I gave up trying to listen to it and turned on something that I knew would fit. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, that looks like something important up there. Maybe maybe that'll that'll work. Who knows? But it still does feel like the, the resource vision. It like lets me know that there are trees and stuff. But that's about it. Endless Space has good music. Yes, it does. Any and all of the Endless games have amazing soundtracks. Energy Rock. Oh, cool. Holy crap. Okay, that's helpful. So what's this stuff? Nope, this is this is still those like weird kind of globulous plants. Maybe it's just my energy range is really, really short. That's what it is. But yeah, uh... There's actually some like really good... Uh, survival sandbox games out there, but they're always like slow or buggy or 
or laggy or whatever, and it's like, just like a, a month or two on really, really closed alpha or beta. Would have actually made your game, um, would have actually made your game, like, work. Um, and, like, be playable, but, uh, a lot of them are just like, no, we, we gotta get on that, like, you know, early access, uh, what is this? Is this iron? Nope, more silver. I'll keep grabbing silver. Maybe we can process silver into something useful. Or maybe we need the silver for things. Who knows? More crabs. More crab! Yeah, No Man's Sky is a perfect example of a game that actually, you know, is developing to be not a bad game. But... It took them so long to get there, it's kind of just like... It took them so long to get there, most people just kind of know of it, uh, know of No Man's Sky as that really disappointing game, uh, that everybody thought was going to be, like, somehow really, really amazing. Survival Sandbox Fantasy Magic, like, D&D would be awesome. Wasn't there one of those? There was a game, I think it was even, like, made by the, uh, the people that made Ark or, like, published by, uh, that actually did have, like, magic and stuff. I was watching uh, John Bain play it for a little while. Not Total Biscuit, other John Bain. I have to be pretty impressive if I was watching Total Biscuit at this point. Which sucks. I don't want to talk about that. Anyway, um... But there was actually like a... Ah, sweet iron, finally. How? Oh, no. Okay, it's spiders now. Oh shit, these, these spiders are, are no joke. Dead. But, ow. Yeah, Light and Dark, that's the one. Uh, Light and Dark was supposed to have, like, uh, some... some magic elements to it and whatnot. But yeah, I would absolutely love to play, uh, some more interesting takes on these. Oh, you know what this actually really reminds me of? This reminds me of Osiris Zero, uh, Osi Osiris New Dawn? Zero Dawn? Osiris something Dawn. Uh, Dawn Dawn. Osiris Do uh, Tide Pod, there we go. Um, that's what this game reminds me of. You know, kind of like a early access sci-fi, uh, sci-fi survival sandbox game with a lot of potential. Just also, you know, very clearly needs a lot, of, a lot more time in the oven uh, than it already has. The mining sound is so annoying to you. Yeah, honestly, I think what I might do... I don't think that crab's gonna get up to me. We're just gonna turn off the sound effects. Entirely. I don't like them. The reason why we're listening to, uh, Endless Space is so I don't have to listen to them. Yeah, Cyrus New Dawn. Um, but I rather, I rather liked a, Cyr a Cyrus New Dawn, but it was so buggy and it was barely playable. We had huge lag problems and, like, we literally had a spaceship hanging, like, 50 feet above our base. Uh, because that's how the game, you know, handled, like, physics and it was really stupid. And, like, it sucked because, you know, I would have actually liked that game, but they really should not have put it out at that time. And I think it actually might be better now, like, actually playable. Um, but my baseline reaction is just like, well, I gave it a go already and my, you know, it wasn't very good, so it'll take a lot for me to go back and, um, and play it again. Oh, hey, these, like, effectively resource pimples are just boring. There's nothing underneath them. So it doesn't look like we'll be digging into the ground at all. Just running from resource node to resource node. Because, <sighs> yeah, for once I'd love to see, like, a survival sandbox game like this come out that is fully done. And fully functional. No bugs. No nothing. Just, you know, playable from the get-go. Or, or, isn't done, but is playable from the get-go you know, effectively is feature complete, um, but not, uh, you know, not finished. They keep feature creeping it into being fun and good and whatever. Has Wander played Astroneer? Uh, is that game in full release yet? Anyone know? No, it's in version point eight, I think. Don't worry, uh, I will I will absolutely do a series on uh, Astroneer as soon as Astroneer hits 1.0. I really, really love 
that game. It was... That was another one of those that actually needed, like, maybe another month in testing. Because effectively, they re released the game, uh, and it had, like, ten really bad game-breaking bugs at various points that, like, made the game largely unplayable, and it was just sad. Because, like, my first night I ran into none of them, and I just played, like, an hour and a half, and I was just legitimately happy about it. And then the next night I was just like, oh. Eh. Okay, so Astroneer is at version 0.9 now. Cool. Yeah, no, Astroneer was, uh, is probably one of the best of the survival sandbox type games. It's really promising, plays really well, uh, generally feels pretty good. What are you, Ice Weaver drone? Well, now you're dead. I really, you really think those things would have, like, loot on them or something? Oh well. Unfortunately, half the enemies just kind of pop up out of nowhere, you can't see them. And I was... I'm like... I'm kind of paranoid, because you can't just say, like, okay, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for the monster, because they just show up. Oh well. Yeah, they fixed the rovers and stuff, so the game's a lot more playable. Yeah, I... I'm probably gonna play... Astroneer when it hit one, hits 1.0 and just, like, bugs some people for, um... Uh, bugs some people to play with me. Either, I don't know, reach out to a VAC again or just get my friends to play it. Might just be a good game to play as part of the, uh... A good game to play as part of the, uh... The Raft Saga, which I think we've kind of, uh... I wanna say... Uh unofficially put on a hiatus for a little bit because Dark Souls will always pull us away from anything. And everything. We are addicts for that series. How do I heal? Hopefully my recharge station fixes me too. If it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have to be close to the thing to get it working. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we might as well turn off the robotics factory because I can do nothing with it. I can make some circuit boards. Uh, maybe, maybe I can do a little bit more with it. Okay. It doesn't look like I heal from this, which is uh, gonna be a problem. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's so nice to actually be able to talk. I guess I really should just uh, drink hot chocolate more often. <laughs> That'll fix me right up. Let's see, your robot. Can't the robotics factory repair you? Interesting question. I'll, I'll have to check to see what I can craft. Okay, remote camera system. Oh, interesting. So other people can see what I see. That's cool. So AI core requires circuit boards and uranium. Well, yep, I'm not making any more autonomous drones for a while. we got to figure out how to get uh, steel, too. All right, how much... Wow, this thing is crazy, crazy efficient. So I'm pretty much never going to run out of those resources. Now, I assume... Corpses never disappear. Maybe? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. It's too hot here to even think of Coco. See, that's what I thought, but it saved my voice, so I'm going to call it close enough. This thing will never despawn, is it? Well then, all right, that's fine. I'm just not going to dwell on things too much. So what do we have? Plastic, some steel, a diamond, a bone. I don't even know where I'm getting half this garbage. Uh, let's grab the silver. Let's let's put away everything that we're not immediately going to need. Really, the bone, the bone's useless. Uh, did I get everything else? I got everything else. Okay, so let's let's see what I can build. So materials processor is pretty big. And maybe you need to loot it first. Now there's nothing. Oh, and is gone. All right. Well, that's easy enough. So what's the materials processor? Let me make. I can make a bunch of steel, copper wiring, chemicals, plastic, fuel, carbon fiber. Okay, so we got we got some stuff that I could work on. I'll, I want to get my hands on some steel, but let's let's finish building this first. I'm just going to live on a giant platform. What 
wonder if I can build out over the uh, the water with this setup. I hope so. I just pick some, pick one of these up. I don't think so. I mean, oops. Why do I have my axe out again? You can't even tell if you have the axe out or not. Uh because the because uh, the the model is hidden until you start swinging, and it doesn't even look good. Uh, let's see. Wander, what's your opinion on Sea of Thieves? I actually don't have much of a uh, I don't have much of an opinion on it, mainly because I can't play it. Uh, sea of Thieves is a Xbox Live only game, uh, which either like you play Xbox or or Windows. Um, but I can't play anything from the Microsoft Store, and I don't really like using my Xbox for a lot of reasons. So I've never actually played Sea of Thieves, and I don't know if I ever will, because I can't actually play multiplayer on my PC using Windows Store games. It's really annoying. I can play single player, uh, but if I try and play multiplayer, it's just like, uh, no. And it just gives me a bunch of unknown errors. I'd spent like six hours trying to fix it. Nope. And there's like not even a clear answer why. I might be able to like fix it someday and you know I there might be a game that actually pushes me to do so um, and yeah, why can't you play anything from the Microsoft Store for whatever reason whenever I try, try and turn on uh, Windows the Windows Live multiplayer it just says what what are you doing now and that's that's it what is this thing why are all the structures in this game very just like I don't even understand. Um, but we had this problem when I tried playing... Um, so, hey, repair pack. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I needed a health pack. Not that. All right. I need a health pa pack, not the repair pack. I could have canceled it. Okay. Well, it's fine. Okay, so there's my HP pack coming back. Glider! Built-in glider wings help you glide off of surfaces. Sure. Now that's kind of cool. So this is probably what I want to upgrade. See if I can get some like cooler things like, like the glider so I can just fly around. Okay. Glider, can I just equip it? Cool. I'm not entirely sure how the glider works. I guess we'll have to find out at some point. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't hate the Microsoft Store. It's just like I don't, I don't want to deal with the fact that it's kind of buggy and new and weird, and the UI is not great. Nice flavor text on the rocket. I'll have to go take a look at it in a second. Unfortunately, I'm just kind of, well. I run out of energy fast in this game. Oh, I see. These structures are, are burning fuel like nobody's business. I wish they'd only burn... Uh, burn fuel when I'm actually using it. But what do we have? We do have a battery bank. Let's get a second steam furnace and a battery bank. Because what I could always do is just kind of stockpile fuel. I mean, it's not like uh, we burn carbon particularly quickly. Okay, inventory. Have some carbon. Have more carbon. Good luck. Keep my base going. Okay, so it looks like the higher excess of energy that I have, the um, the faster I get my energy back. It also looks like it possibly increases my own. Uh, it possibly increases my own at maximum energy. That's cool. Okay, so we have pirates coming in. I'm not going to hear them coming, unfortunately. I really like the skybox. Like visually, this is this is rather impressive looking. Okay, let's get an equipment workbench quick.
I'll probably be fine without, but if I could actually quickly build a gun, that'd be nice. Soldier helmet, worker backpack. So this is armor. What about gun? Okay, so there are some weapons down here, but I'm missing... I'm totally out of iron. What the... Who is shooting at me? Oh, there, there, there they are. As you are uncomfortably close. And now you are both dead. Cool. Well, that's easier. Anywho. Uh, so I gotta go find some more iron. Starting off the machine shop, I don't think I had anything useful in that. But I want to look at it. What was the uh, flavor text for the rocket? When you really must have something dead. Okay. And did I... I, I got the worker backpack. Unfortunately... Okay, so the glider... And the worker backpack. So four inventory capacity and some shield recovery. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the uh, glider behind. I like the idea of the glider, but uh, maybe I can like jam them together or something. Uh, let's go find some iron. Uh, let's see, is this depleted? No, so that they do come back. So I think if I just go directly up, we'll find some iron up there. In fact, I think I see a, uh, I think I see an iron node up on the hill. I think that's where most of them are. Is that one right there? That might actually be one right there. Let's see if I have any nearby first before I. Uh, that's copper. Looks like copper. I. Okay, there we go. I guess I have to be close to hit things. Weird. Yeah, this is copper. Well, we might as well get as much copper as uh, we can. We might actually need it for things. Okay, yeah, it looks like actually having the, that... Uh, looks like actually having that... Uh... Oh, interesting. So my, my shields are... Stay down for a while. And then they start coming back pretty quick. Alright, well, that's fine. Now, this actually has some decent ideas as far as, like, a survival sandbox game. It's still kind of constrained by the exact same problems that many of the other ones also are. Uh, what? What am I... What is going on? Okay, that was weird. I just started, like, sliding down the hill with no control. Strange. A couple of spots I can get iron from and a smudge on my glasses that I should probably fix. Hi? What was that? I don't know. Like a fuzz or a spider web across my face. Hope it's not the ladder. I hate spider webs. I like spiders, but I never ever want to see them. I don't know about you guys, but I just I can't I can't stand spiders. This is not This is iron. Okay. the other thing. Might actually also be more iron. If I can. But yeah, the biggest, like, failing, I think, of most of these, like, big survival sandbox games is the, um, the constant, uh, battle just to get more resources. And, like, it, it feels like after your fifth mining trip, you should have some kind of means of getting around it. Because, like, these aren't even MMOs, though I guess it's kind of supposed to be MMO-y. If you didn't spend all this time trying to get resources, uh, players would probably get hella bored real quick. you kind of run out of things to do. But, like, I'd rather... I'm, I would rather they were, like, built around, uh... Well, I mean, honestly, automation or, like, kind of automating your... Uh, yeah, automating yourself out of a job. Uh, effectively making it so you don't have to come out and grab these, uh... Resources over and over and over again. I guess that's what the drones are supposed to be, but they just die. Woke up to a spider next to your head very early this morning. Yeah, I saw that on Discord. Uh, so Seagull woke up a spider next to said, Yeah, that would, uh... Why did I jump? Oh, I guess that didn't actually do any damage to me. Weird. Uh, I have... I generally almost never have to deal with spiders. Every once in a while I'll see, like, one crawling around. Very rarely have I ever seen a spider on me. But, uh... When they are on me, I'm just... I just panic. Hate it. I hate it. I can't stand it at all. Um... Let's see if there's any more iron along this. 
It looks like just going kind of along this edge is rather good for resources. Yeah, so Factorio, 3D Factorio, Satisfactory. Yeah, no, you guys know what I'm pining after. I'm on the beta list. Some, some point, it'll be Satisfactory time. I'm probably going to... Satisfactory is probably going to be one of those games that, uh... Uh, Satisfactory is probably going to be one of those games that I actually do, like, two, maybe three series on in very short succession. One, possibly alone, and two with, like, multiplayer. Possibly multiple multiplayer, I, I don't know. Ooh, we got titanium from this, okay. So it looks like maybe if I get a better mining module, we might be able to get our hands on um, some rare resources from these iron rocks. Hey, Planet Nomads is closer to 3D Factorio. I tried playing Planet Nomads back when I uh, when it first kind of hit alpha, but I never played uh, that much of it. I, I actually was one of their Kickstarter backers. I didn't hate the game, it just didn't have anything to it when I first played it, and I was like, I'm if I try and do a series on this, I'm going to make the game look boring. Oh, there's some interesting stuff in the landscape. I love those, like, flying fish things. And the, uh, the ambient inclusion in this game is actually really, really well done. Like, the things blurring out into the distance looks really nice. The environment, not so much so. The trees in the distance definitely look really crap.